right, we're gonna make the salmon skewers with the uh, the spiced up yogurt. And so we're gonna make the yogurt first so we can get that out of the way. As you can see here, we have some spices that we've toasted. Some coriander seed, some cardamom, some whole cinnamon stick, and some cumin. You toast them in a dry pan like this over the stove, and it just brings out all the oils from the spices, and it just really enhances the flavor of all the spices. I'm gonna put them in a coffee grinder, and uh, it's very important, if you're gonna use a coffee grinder for spices, that you have two, one for coffee, one for spices. This way you don't blend them together. So we're gonna put the yogurt in this bowl. We're gonna take our spices and pour the spices right over it. Some fresh lemon juice. Some salt and pepper. A little bit of cayenne. And I'm just gonna dice up an onion pretty finely. And this will actually give it a little more pungency, but also just a little bit of crunch in there. But dice them pretty fine. Stir this up. Now we have a nice spiced up yogurt. Let's make some salmon skewers. I'm actually gonna make long skewers of salmon, almost like mini fillets of salmon. I'm gonna take a long skewer that we've soaked, just put the skewers right through them. Okay, put a little oil, some salt and pepper. Go to the grill. Okay, hot grill. Sometimes people are intimidated by grilling fish, and for good reason. I mean, especially something like salmon can be a little bit delicate. So the best thing to do is let the salmon cook on the grill, let the grill do its job, and after about uh, three minutes, or three or four minutes, the salmon will actually come away from the grill on its own. So you can just kind of lift up the skewer and then move it around. But it's a little too early right now. Now you see how easily these turn. Just because I left them alone on the grill. About three minutes on one side, about another minute and a half on the other, and they're done. Don't kill the salmon. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we're gonna plate this. The cracked wheat salad right in the middle of the bowl. Take our salmon skewers. And then a little bit of yogurt. Just because it's here, it's just a little squeeze of orange right around it. Grilled salmon skewers with a bulgur wheat salad and some spiced yogurt. Today we're gonna make a slow roasted salmon with roasted potatoes and a very simple lemon and mustard vinaigrette. I think salmon has amazing uh, properties, like um, it has a lot of fat in it, good fat, a lot of omega-3s, and the only way to really take advantage of the salmon's fat is to let it melt slowly. There's a couple of different steps here. We need some Idaho potatoes. Obviously, we need some salmon. We need some mustard, some lemon, and then some fresh herbs and some olive oil. And then you need something to, to cook it in. This is an earthenware dish called the cazuela. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can cook it in any kind of vessel that is uh, oven safe, oven proof safe, okay? So, First things first, we're gonna get, get going with our potato. So I'm gonna peel the potatoes. And I know a lot of people have questions out there about whether you should peel the potatoes or not. You don't have to peel the potatoes as long as you wash them well. But I just think for, from a presentation standpoint, it just kind of looks really, really nice and clean. But again, like when I was growing up, my mother used to say to me like all the, all the vitamins are in the skin. I'm not even, I don't even know if that's true. I think, I think she just wanted me to eat the skin, so who knows? 
But as a kid, like, you don't want to eat the skin on the potatoes usually. You want, you want all the skin off. So we'll take the skin off. It's totally fine. All right. So I'm going to slice these up very thinly. And we're going to roast these first in the, uh, in the cascuela. You want them to be about that thick. I don't know how to measure that. It's probably like an eighth of an inch. But you know, don't drive yourself crazy. This is a very rustic dish. It's, this, is a, this is a terrific fish dish when the, uh, you know, the weather's, weather is starting to turn a little bit, like you know, kind of early fall into the winter. Um, and so like the, the potatoes can be a little bit hearty. And they're gonna roast anyway, so they're gonna get nice and soft. So we're gonna take a little bit of canola oil, and then we're just gonna put the potatoes basically to cover the entire dish. All right, then we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on top of there. Just a little tiny bit more oil. All right, so you want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna start out with sort of a higher heat, and then we're gonna slowly cook the salmon later after the potatoes are three quarters of the way done. So we're gonna start at 400 degrees, put this in our oven. Let that cook, and then while that's cooking for about 15 minutes, um, we can actually start to prep the rest of our dish. We're gonna make our sauce, which is basically an uncooked, it's an uncooked sauce, it's like a salad dressing almost. Some uh, Dijon mustard, some lemon, and a, and a little bit of olive oil, and some, and some fresh herbs. So we're gonna put some Dijon mustard in the bowl, and then a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemons. This is gonna work as your acidity. I mean, obviously, you know, fish and lemons are always good together. And as you know, I like to season every single component of my dishes. So you wanna put a little salt and pepper in there as well. And the Dijon mustard is gonna act obviously as a flavor component, but it's also going to help to thicken your, your vinaigrette or your sauce. It works as an emulsifier. So we're gonna take some olive oil and we're just gonna slowly, slowly add a little olive oil to the mustard and the lemon juice. And if you want to, you can emulsify, you can see it's sort of coming together, but if it, if it separates, it doesn't matter. Don't even worry about it for one second. Because once you pour it over the salmon, and the salmon is warm, it's probably gonna separate a little bit anyway, so it's totally fine. And then I like to put some fresh herbs in here as well, so we have some fresh thyme. A little bit of parsley. And we can coarsely chop them. We can use some more herbs with some garnish later, but this is just gonna go right into the dressing. I just like when you have like these, um, these vinaigrettes that you can use, like not just for salads, but for sauces as well. And then you put it over something warm, like when the salmon comes out. And um, when you pour, the, when you pour the, um, the room temperature sauce over the, uh, over the warm salmon, it just, kinda, it just kinda brightens up the flavor of the sauce itself. All right, so I have some potatoes cooking in here already. I just want to show you this. Beautiful, right? You can see the potatoes are, you know, they, they're getting a little, like a little bit brown around the edges, but the most important thing is that they're nice and soft, that they're cooked through. So now we have our potatoes cooked and the cascuela is still warm. So 
I'm just gonna take a salmon filet, skin off, right? Just put it right on top of the potatoes, just like that. A little canola oil on top. And then some salt and pepper. And this is like, to me, this, is the, this becomes the coolest part of the dish, which is the fact that now, like, as I said, the salmon is gonna cook really slowly. It's almost gonna be like, it's almost like it's, um, it's gonna transform for like from this bright orange color, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna sort of become this pale orange color. And, the, and it's because the fat that's running all through the salmon is gonna melt really slowly and basically um, create this really silky piece of fish. And to me, that's the key to this whole thing. It's just the, the texture of this is amazing. It's the best way, in my opinion, to eat salmon. And it's really easy, because once you put it in the oven, that's all you have to do, all right? So we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, we, you, we take our oven from 400 to 250. I'm gonna turn this to 250. And another 15 minutes, we should be good to go. Salmon cooks, the juices come out of the salmon, becomes part of the potatoes, and you serve the cazuela with the potatoes, the salmon. I'm gonna show you how we sauce it. You serve it right in front of your guests. So it's basically done. You don't even have to plate it anymore. Presentation is done for you. You can see how the color has changed on the salmon. Look at that. And it's just cooked through. Mmm. Smells so good. So we're gonna take our sauce and just pour a little sauce right on top. And I also wanna put some of the sauce right on top of the potatoes as well. You know, just kinda, you know, don't overdo it, but this sauce works with the entire dish. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of fresh thyme, just drop some of the fresh thyme on top of the salmon. Thyme and potatoes, mustard, all goes really well together. Tear some parsley leaves. There you go, done. If you want to, you can take a little bit of uh, lemon zest, why not, right? I always say like the more lemon the better, especially when it comes to fish. And as I said, like it's it's ready to serve because it's already in a beautiful serving dish. All right, so I'm gonna give this a taste. So you can see, here, take a look at the salmon there. You see how it's cooked all the way through, but it's still silky. And basically you wanna take a little bit of the potatoes, some of the salmon, of course, some of the sauce. Mm. You have some of the crispiness of the potatoes and the bottom of the cazuela gives it a really nice crunch. And then the rest of the potatoes are cooked through so they're nice and soft. And the silkiness of the salmon with the mustard vinaigrette, I mean, it just works so nicely. It's oven to table right there. We've got, um, what do we have in here? We have uh, brown sugar, some mm -hmm. butter to start. This is, the, this is the mustard and brown sugar glaze for the salmon. Um, and you've melted that. And then we add a little bit of soy sauce and some honey. And we're gonna add the Dijon mustard now at the end. And the, here, you know what, take that off the heat, Jane. Okay. Just kind of pull it over here. All right. And stir it up. Okay. You want to add the mustard off the heat because you don't want it to break. You don't want it to separate. Oh, okay. All right. Let that cook, uh, you know, keep stirring that for about four or five minutes. All right, Patrice, here's the deal. All right. Joey brought us this great salmon. Yes, he did. Um, and we don't want to ruin it. So I just want don't you to- leave it to me. I'll, I'll leave it to you. See, <laughs> confidence is high. Yes. And you brought your own plane with you, One too. One of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, olive oil, salt brush and it. pepper. Yeah, just brush it lightly. You don't have to okay. put a lot on. Right. And then we'll go over to the grill. Okay. I put a couple on, but we have some hungry people. Is that hot? Let's Let see what's going on that. here. Yeah. You see, I just put the salmon on the grill like this. I'm just going to flip it over. It comes right off the grill. I mean, see, that's what I'm talking about, all right? You like a lot of pepper, or? Yeah, I do like a lot of pepper. Do you like a lot of pepper? Mm-hmm. Then put a lot on. Okay, here we go. It's beautiful. All right, Hands. now throw them right on the grill. Okay. Flesh side down. Bobby, Perfect. Patrice, can you, do you cook your salmon at the same temperature that you cook your vegetables? Well, what I like to do is I like to put, a, I like to use a hot grill, okay, like this one, and just leave the salmon alone. You know, mm -hmm. I cook it on the flesh side, you see, and it just came right off the grill. Yeah. Very often people are intimidated about cooking fish because it sticks all the time. 
This okay. is one of the easiest ones to cook. It is. It's firm flesh. It's firm flesh and yeah. it has a lot of fat content, yeah. so it's awesome. And, and I like to leave the skin on because it also helps keep it together. Mm -hmm. Are you still stirring? I'm still stirring. Okay, well, why don't we start brushing? <laughs> the idea okay. here now, now we want to get, now at this point, you know, this, this salmon is perfectly fine. Yeah, it's olive oil, salt, and pepper, mm -hmm. and a great piece of fish. You can take this off, squeeze a lemon, and perfect. It, it's perfect. Mm. But this is hot off the grill. So we have to and spice it up. We have to complicate up. things a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to add just a, you know, we're going to add a little bit of this glaze that we made. Mm -hmm. Really simple ingredients. And this is something that can be da done days ahead of time because the sugars really preserve it all, right? It's the brown sugar, the mustard, the whole thing. The whole nine, as we like to say. <laughs> all right, who wants to do this? Uh, I can do it or Patrice, right. either way. Well, okay, we're going to have a fight <laughs> well, here. Patrice is <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead. Why don't you guys I'll flip, flip a coin? I'll flip and you, you brush, I'll flip. Okay, fine. Right. Here we go. What am I going to do? All right. You just stand there and look pretty, Bobby. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Now, Jane, you just, you know, just brush it right on top all of it. All right. You don't want to put this glaze on um, before you grill the fish, because then it will probably burn mm -hmm. because of the sugars and everything. How's that look? Looks really good. Yeah, it looks so good. Looks awesome. Now let's oh. see. Now, if you notice, we haven't touched the fish that you put on yet. I I'm not so sure it's ready to come up yet. <laughs> yeah, actually, we're gonna let it's it let it cook for a couple more up. couple more minutes. Exactly. Then okay. it just releases by itself. Exactly. We're taking the salmon off the grill. Patricia's throwing some. Uh, we have some cilantro here. You can you know use any kind of herb you want. Actually, I like to take some chives also. Just kind of sprinkle them on. All right, you want to bring these over? My pleasure. Now, we're drinking Pinot Noir here, and we have Gary, our wine guy. Salmon, Salmon. and Pinot Noir, red wine? Everybody kept saying, what white wine are we having now? What wine are we having now? And I said, no, we're having red wine. A nice fruit-driven Pinot Noir from Canaros, mm -hmm. which is right in between Napa and Sonoma. They get a cool growing season, so the, it takes a long time for the grapes to come through. It is rich. The salmon is a... a a, help me out here. Rich. A buttery. Rich, rich buttery. <laughs> Flavorful fish. Jelly. <laughs> There's almost no tannin in here. There is. The reason why it, we I like mean, Pinot really for this is there is no tannin whatsoever. It won't compete with the fish. It will complement the fat of the fish. It's delicious. It's